We continue our series on the history of local communities in the North Central Television viewing area. This week, we head to Smith County and learn about the history of Pleasant Shade. It's one of the smaller communities in Smith County. Pleasant Shade is located in the northern part of the county on Highway 80. Today, there aren't many businesses left here, but that wasn't always the case. I recently sat down with Harold Halliburton at the Pleasant Shade Cafe to get his take on the place he's called home most of his life. All that I know mainly is uh, used to be a blacksmith shop right across the road here. Belonged to Virgil Whitley. Everybody around here called him Pappy Gad. And uh, he told me the sto story on Pleasant Shade back years ago. Now, I've never seen it written. I don't know that it's, you know, I'm just telling you that uh, I got it secondhand because I wasn't here when it started. But Pleasant Shade at one time was a booming place. It had, when I grew up, it had five stores, two woodworking shop, a blacksmith shop, dance hall, restaurant, and a pool hall. And kept the young man pretty busy, you know, trying to keep up with all of it. <laughs> uh, Pappy Gad told me that it used to be called Mitchell Murphy's Station back when the stagecoaches came through. And there was a hotel here at one time down on the corner. And the uh, he said it was called Mitchell Murphy Station. And there was some uh, sycamore trees down before you go out of town on the old road. And they had some benches down there. Of course, they had the spit and whittle club that would gather there and talk and carry on. And uh, the spit and whittle club started saying, boy, this is some pleasant shade. And eventually, everybody started calling it pleasant shade. Now, like I say, I, I wasn't here, and I, I don't know that to be a 100% fact, but it sounds pretty good to me anyway. <laughs> As with any community, people live through good and bad times. One of the more sad times here involved a man named Pony Hackett. There was a, uh, a shooting death. Uh, Pony Hackett and the, I, the other guy was a Jen Jenkins, I believe. They say that Tony Hackett, uh, he had maybe shot this Jenkins in the past and the Jenkins didn't die. Well, Pony was elected to be uh, the sheriff and uh, Jenkins confronted him down here at where Sloan Brothers used to be. And I understand that they went in into a side room shooting one another and Pony wound up getting killed in the shootout. Today, children who live in Pleasant Shade attend defeated elementary school. The former Pleasant Shade Elementary School now serves as a community center. We have a place to uh, have event, which is good for our community. Uh, you know, this community here had, when I grew up, had three different um, denominations in it. You had the Presbyterians, the Church of God, and the Missionary Baptists. We still have Presbyterians and Missionary Baptist Church of God dissolved. And um, when one had a revival, all had a revival. Everybody went. And it's a shame that today we don't see those large crowds in congregations like we did at one point. Halliburton says Pleasant Shade is a nice, quiet place to live. Laid back. <laughs> That's just, I mean, there, there's not a lot happening here like there was. 
Pleasant Shade still has a post office, and the gathering spot to eat here is the Pleasant Shade Cafe. Otherwise, people here do most of their business in Carthage or Lafayette. Still, people who live here are proud to call this part of Smith County their home. That will probably always be the case. Reporting from Smith County, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.